Today I'm going to be using a 6x9 board that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It was about $6.99, 40% off, and I'm going to start by painting it with Snow Owl by Wise Owl. And it has this little uh, inlay. We're going to be using a stencil by Redesign by Prima. It's a 3D stencil, and it's called Mind Games. And this can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. And I'm just going to cut it to fit the inside of my board. The image was a little shy, but I just centered it and taped it off with some painter's tape so it doesn't shift on me. And I'm going to be using Black by Wise Owl, a foam dabber, and you're going to want an art brush. So I started with the foam dabber, but because this is a 3D stencil, it really only covered the squares. Sometimes I use an, a second art brush just to hold the stencil down close to my project. Um, as you can see, the white, that's all the wording and the lettering that the black was not really um, getting to with the dabber. And that's where the art brush is going to come in. But again, you're going to want to use a very little bit amount of paint. I literally have just a little bit of paint on that uh, paper towel. And that's what I'm dipping my brush in to fill in the letters. And I'm just going around with the brush, pouncing it. And the bristles are long enough that they're getting down into the, the script in the stencil. Once done, we're going to remove that and allow it to dry. And then I found this embroidery hoop. It kind of looks like a frame, but it works just like a regular embroidery um, type hoop. Uh, it has an internal rim and an external. And I'm going to be using E6000 and some hot glue and gluing it down on my stenciled image. And then I'm going to take some glue and hot glue and go around the internal rim. This is going to be important for later. I found this little um, nutcracker in Hobby Lobby. He was $3.99. All their Christmas items are 40% off. It's like a little resin um, ornament. And I took the ornament hoop off the top of his hat. And I'm going to start by painting him in snow owl and I'm just avoiding his eyes his eyes were already painted in and I didn't want to cover that so I just went and covered the entire resin with the white and this is going to seem in, unimportant because he's already white but you kind of do want a base um to grab onto for uh the rest of my technique so as I was working on that, I looked over and said that that frame needs to be white. So yes, I probably would have painted it before I glued it down, but I just did a dry brush so that you could kind of still see the wood through. So I wasn't looking for perfection. Um, I have a pretty steady hand, so I was able to do it with the frame glued down, but you may want to, you know, take care of that prior to gluing it. It was an afterthought. So now I'm going to take some Republic Red and an art brush, and I'm going to paint the details on his jacket. I'm not going to be painting this entire um, nutcracker. I'm just going to pick different details to pull out and I'm going to leave him major the majority of him white. I'm taking some Cleopatra metallic gold from Wise Owl and I'm hitting some of the detail on the arms of his jacket, his belt, the top of his hat, there's a chain that hangs from his hat that I'm going to grab. And some detail on his boots. Once dry, I'm going to take some lemon verbatim salve by Wise Owl. It's in a little tin can and you can find this at Chalk It Up Fancy. I'm taking my palm brush and I'm giving him a coat. It's a rub on and a rub off technique. 
Very, very simple, but now I have a barrier. Some of you have seen me do this before, and then I grab a little spritz of water on the nutcracker and a little on my brush, and I'm gonna cover him with a wet coat of black paint. I usually use baby wipes. I didn't have any nearby, so I just spritz him again with some water, and then I wipe back the black paint. And it just leaves the black and all the, the grooves and the crevices, and you can still see some of the coloring. And you can go back and brighten up some of your coloring if you want to. Or you could start off by doing the black technique in the beginning and then going back and coloring in your detail. It just depends on the look you want. I took some of the metallic gold and painted the beads on the hanger. And then I did some of the gold around the internal rim of the frame. Now I'm going to take some E6000 and some hot glue and I'm going to glue my nutcracker in the center of my frame. We're going to use our new uh, by a Maker Studio Glacier Resin. Very excited to try this out. We did order some resin cups. Uh, they have not come in yet. They should be in soon, but you can take a, a plastic cup and cut it down. You're basically cutting out that bottom portion and there's lines that you can see. So that helps with measuring because we're gonna be doing a part A and a part B of the resin. You can find this at chocolateoffancy.com, the resin, and it comes in a pack of the A and the B. So you want to do equal parts, and it needs to be measured quite accurately, and you want to wear a N95 mask to protect you um, as you don't want to be breathing any of the toxins in. And this has no smell, so you're going to feel like it's safe, but you really should wear a mask. You're going to take your two parts into a third cup and we just use a popsicle stick or a craft stick as our stirring stick and you're going to add these two parts together and they are two equal parts. Very important. Once the two parts are together, you're going to start to mix and you're going to mix for several minutes and you're kind of looking for a honey consistency. Before you start to stir, if you want to add any glitter as I just did some yellow, I did some gold glitter into my resin. Um, you can do different types of colors or glitter or anything at this point is where you want to put that in and we're going to mix it up until it's the right consistency and you can almost feel it in the cup when it's ready to be poured it does take several minutes and now we are going to pour the resin inside the frame and if you remember back when i did the um the hot glue in the rim this is going to keep the resin from seeping underneath the frame i kind of sealed the edge we're using a heat gun. If you don't have one, you could have the potential of getting bubbles in your resin. Um, they're not expensive, the heat guns. You can get them right at any craft store. Maybe we'll try to find a link on Amazon for you for that. But you really should invest in a heat gun if this is something you're going to try. A blow dryer is just going to push the resin. So once the resin's in, now you're just going to let it sit for 24 hours. Once dry, you can now decorate it. I'm gonna just take some greenery and I'm gonna glue it to the top of the frame and add a red and black checked 
ribbon, very small, I'm just gonna tie a knot and trim off either end and glue that to the top. And now you have this mixed media Christmas decor with the um, nutcracker. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper, transfers, mesh stencils, and now resin products, chalkitupfancy.com.